Hello, this is Mr. Game Dueler, and I am going to show you how to draw um, a hand holding a controller, just like my uh, profile picture. And hopefully, I'll I'll do better on this one. Maybe I will. I usually don't, but we'll see. Um, first, you need to just I'm just gonna doodle the controller. It doesn't matter what type of controller you use, as long as you just draw one. And uh, I use the PlayStation. I'm doing this with one hand because I have to hold my phone, and I'm sorry about this. It's very difficult. And I'm just gonna make where the Make where this little thing is, and we're gonna draw the R buttons, the end of it, the thumb, and the analog stick, and then we're gonna draw the hand. And maybe I'll teach how to draw a pencil, although that's not as good. I don't know what happened right there, but we'll try. All right. Well, first we need to let's just like I said, I'm not. I'm just gonna doodle the R button because right now that's not what we're focusing on if you want me to show you guys how to draw a controller even though that's not the best I've done I can always teach you just go ahead and post a comment in the box and I'll do my best that little R now I gotta draw a little whatever that is. It, I, I don't even know what that is. Yeah. This is where the analog stick will be. I wouldn't. And we'll just put a little circle right here because the thumb's going to take up most of the analog stick. As you can see here, I really based it off of how I can hold my controller. I don't know if that's how you guys do, but I got it nearly exactly like it. So, alright. So you don't want to start off uh, with drawing the hands right here. You want to start off more up here. You want to draw the the tip of the finger, the index. And you just basically want to have it go smoothly along with the top of the controller. And I'm not going to draw the fingernail yet because it just d depends on how you hold the controller. Uh, we don't want his finger or her finger to go too small or slim because then it'll just look like he has very tiny hands um, and as you can see in the, when I hold my controller it's not perfectly even it has these little bumps in it like I don't really think it has bumps in it but you know it, it has angles so we can try to draw that I didn't do exactly as it did, but you want to make a slight weird little angle. And then it smoothly comes down. And I like drawing the outside of it first before I do anything else because the outside's much more easier to draw. And then once you reach the end of the finger, you're gonna to want to curve it in with that little nub thing there. I'm gonna put that in. And we're not gonna put details in it yet. I'm gonna draw the... F yeah, I guess I can draw the fingernail now. It's gonna have weird fingernail right there. For sure. And then, for some reason, I have these little... I, I think a lot of people do. I don't know if you can see it very well. Yeah, you see that white little thing at the very 
bottom of my fingernail. So that's what that is right there. Oh man, I made a little mark. Okay. And so what we're going to do now is we're going to put in the base of it, of the thumb, thumb, finger. And as you can see, it has like these little, little parts right there where it just kind of pushes out like a stomach after a full meal. So we're going to add some of that in. It doesn't need to be perfect because you can always come back and edit it out. Yeah. Oh. I made a mistake right here. There's a third notch, a third angle. I might have to redo this video. Hopefully not. And so your finger finally ends right there. And as you finish that, you have this little flap thing right there, kind of like fins. And it smoothly goes in front of the camera and it makes that little it makes the thumb combines with the thumb and your thumb has like a little weird shape let's put the yeah I'm pretty impressed that this went so smoothly we're going to erase what's inside. It's probably going to have to be a part two because I, last time I remember, YouTube made it so that your videos can be only like certain time. So we're, we're going to put like little notches here first before we continue. Uh, all right, let's see. No, so yeah, we have the little notch here. And we're going to start drawing the tip of the the end of the hand. And it's going to come down. And it's going to, like someone's hold, actually holding it. And we're going to make that little palm thing right there. Kind of like that. It, it, I don't know how to describe the human hand. It's very complex. This is surprisingly pretty good in my opinion you guys might not like it as much but I'm just doing this out right now so heh <laughs> doodle um, and so you have like a little finger that might come out like this see my middle finger back here and what you're gonna do oh. and what you're gonna do is you're gonna make it come behind your finger and you're gonna show it right here da, 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 that's not quite right um let's see kind of there yeah, that's a little better very very sensitive about my drawings I don't know if all of you are but it bothers me to have imperfections in them which is most of the time and if you want you can add a few notches in the back to imply that you have other fingers which you obviously do Um, thumbnail. If you want it long, you can go up to here, but I don't. I don't really like drawing long fingernails. Um, what I usually do, I just put in the butt, the base right there. Then I just draw it out. It kind of has that little flat point at the front or top. I'm gonna draw that little white line I have.